Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we need to go. What mode we're on? We just have, we just have to put the we just have to put the mic on. Lock in, cocksuckers. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Yeah, close the fucking blinds there, bud. I'm bringing it in. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Our blinds aren't working. Blinds! I'll figure it out. <laughs> Brett was fucking pressing buttons over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is good. We wanted to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes on what an actual setup looks like. It's yeah. pure chaos. We're all set? We're all set. The camera's looking good. I'm going to get this out of here so we don't look at it the whole fucking time. Yeah, we are rolling. Um... Yeah, uh, Brad. Fuck, eh? What the Our fuck? Sexy beast. We're set up. Uh, we set up the podcast today, so it's a little, uh, it's a little yeah. janky today, guys. A little bit on the run. We didn't have a professional. Someone say a free range. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Free yeah. Run. It was, uh, it was set up by uh, a J of our own, <laughs> Jeremy and Brad. <laughs> uh, Brad, how the hell are you? Doing good, buddy. Long day of work, but ready to yeah, rock and roll. That's, that's what you were saying. How about you? I haven't seen much of you this week. We yeah. watched our movie. Stand um, up. I did stand. Oh yeah, that's true. Slightly for half the week. You saw me every single day on the week. Pretty Hadn't seen you much that that last week. We were. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're back in Kelowna this week. Yes, uh, we we thought we thought we'd uh, bring it back home. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We 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 just wanted to take a little uh, slower approach this week. Um. Oh, you good? Yeah. That sounded like a. Doo-dink. That was just the crank. That was weird. Yeah. That was a weird noise. Um. What was your goal from last week, Brent? My goal last week was just to have a nice structured, organized week. Um, right. I'll post a picture maybe this week of uh, what it looks like after, like my little checklist book. Right. Look fucking good, man. I posted yeah. a little picture at the end of the, my reel, actually. Okay. It was in the reel showing like my, my planned out week. It was good. I had a test that was supposed to be at the end of the week, got canceled, so I just filled some things in. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were yeah. able to come out. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. No, that's awesome. Um, What are you doing this week? What's your plan? This week. Yeah. It this kind week. of is piggybacking off of what you said last week a little yeah. bit, right? So it's going to be another structure goal. Yeah. Um, as many of the listeners know, I uh, took a little hiatus from posting on my fitness account. Yeah. Or future fitness brand called Earned Athletics. Uh, I was just, uh, I don't know, just wasn't happy with what I was posting, so I just took a little break. And yeah. now I'm, this next week, I'm just going to get some stuff planned out, some videos recorded, and just like have some stuff ready to post next week and get back on the horse. Yeah. Um. It's crazy. It's crazy that we're already a week into fucking March. It's fucking yeah, nasty. This is coming out March 7th. Miracle um, March. Miracle March. And it's going to be a crazy one. Yeah. Honestly, it already kind of has been a crazy, crazy March. New moon. New moon happening right now, actually. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Okay. Um, because we're going to dabble in a little bit of co star. We, you know, we talk a lot of shit about women. <laughs> Uh, no, we don't. We talk, talk a lot. Of, we talk a lot of shit about astrology. Let's yeah. dive into it a little bit. Yeah, you know, let's sure. get into it. Let's let's read what they have to say yeah. for us, right? Because I think we're very compatible together. Actually, I think we might be. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we'll let an app tell us. <laughs> um, but yeah, my goal last week. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, twenty-four videos for TikTok. Yeah, you got me a uh, bunch. Way way more than twenty-eight yeah. or twenty-four, uh, and like they were long ones too. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy I got it in there. Um, I'm learning how to use Adobe. Yeah. I'm really learning how to use it. We it's, look professional it's, now. It's looking better. So yeah. we're, we're getting there, guys. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, this week, now this is going to be a long, long form goal this week, a little bit. Yeah. Um, and Brett, we maybe maybe we talk about that right away here. You want to get into that right yeah, away a little we'll bit? we'll get into this after. Okay. All right. Should we do, we'll do the movie review first then. Sure. And then, uh, yeah. So I'm wanting to kind of switch up my diet. Um, I want to do, I want to really stay, be held accountable by myself. On doing a fasting eight-hour window of eating. So why do you want to do a diet? Uh, I just want to lose a bit of weight. You know, uh, thirty pounds. Thirty pounds could come off in the next two months. I think. Do the uh, do the springs or the shocks in the car kind of dip down when you get in right now? Yeah, yeah. Th- there's yeah. a little bit of extra weight. It's not great on the gas. Gas prices are fucking awful yeah, you're right only now. Making so. it worse for our yeah. friend of the pod. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> She's fucking really taking a beating right now. <laughs> when we go down hills, it's more efficient. Oh, of course. Because we're just <laughs> fucking bombing. <laughs> 230 pounds. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little yards. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I don't like being overweight. Um, You're not fat, Jeremy. Oh, my God. No. Yes, I am. I'm overweight. Uh, I got a little bit too much flub on me. 
Um, but I'm six one. I should be able to. I have you know. I should be able to put something on. Yeah. So uh, I've done the dirty. It's time to fucking you know just stop eating food. Is there kind of like is there like a number you want to put into this goal? Like, is there, do you want to maybe drop like ten pounds? I'd like to drop twenty, but yeah, ten would be great. Aim for ten. Last time I checked, I was at two thirty six. Actually, exceed for twenty. And uh, no, that's not true. I was at two thirty two. Twenty pounds in a week might not be fucking too much. I don't want to do that. No, yeah. I want to do it. I want like, to do it properly. I, and, and, and and I'm not like it's not body dysmorphia where I'm like I need to lose weight. I fucking hate how I look. I do, and I want to, but yeah. um, it's not it's not, it's not that bad. It's just I'd like to be healthier. Mm-hmm. I've also been uh, I've done some research, a little bit of research. It does show that when you work out. You can gain inches of cock. It's true because, like, your little front pouch is bigger. Yeah. You know how guys, like, who are built, like yourself, right? You probably know. Mm -hmm. You know that line down to your cock? The V. The V. Yeah. Right? When you're fucking built, that's nice and defined. When you're not, that's pudging out. Yeah. And it's taking precious centimeters off your cock. (laughs) No, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah. It's really not funny. It's it's actually kind of depressing. It and, is depressing. And a lot of fat people, they just uh, they kind of just deal with it. To be honest, <laughs> um, it's sad. So I'm realizing that I had you up higher. Anyways, it's, it's fine. all right. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to. I'm excited for you. Uh, just not eat as much, and yeah. I'll try and record everything I eat. Uh, that's one thing. I'm take a picture. Try. I'll take a picture of everything I eat. Yep. Okay. Hold yourself accountable. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. No gunk. No, no gunk fucking in, junk food. No gunk in my trunk. No. Nope. None yeah. of that. So uh, we're done with the gunk in the trunk. And we'll trunk. see where I'm at. I, I, I'll take a weigh-in photo. I'll show where we're at, and I'll see where we get to. Yeah. Right. I mean, again, like ten pounds could be water weight at the end of the week. It's fine. I get it. Okay? Main thing is just eating some good food. I just want to see the number go down. Okay. I just want to see the number go down. And maybe tell us how you feel too. That True. That would be a big thing. True. That's very true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I will be microdosing LSD next week, so that might play into why I feel so good. But that's Maybe. okay. Um, we'll talk about that. I'm not sure what the science is behind that. Well, no, it's great. With with the weight loss, we'll see. It'll probably help it. You think so? Boost my metabolism? No. You might go to McDonald's not even knowing it. No, you don't drive when you're an acid. You don't drive when you're an acid. Unless oh, I'm microdosing it though, so I'll be able to function as a. You don't have a car. You'll walk. A scooter. I was okay. gonna say you can scooter. I'll rent a scooter. Yeah, <laughs> dollar dollar surcharge. <laughs> Cheapest ride you ever had, right? It was a really good time. That's yeah. another video. That's one of the other videos I want you to take for me. Is the fucking uh, the cheapest ride I've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny actually. Um, yeah. So that we'll talk about that a little bit. More. Beautiful. Um, th- that's my goal. I want to just. I love it. It's not even a matter of like losing ten pounds in the week. That's not the goal. Um, showing and proving that I can eat healthy for a week. Fucking right. So yeah. Awesome. Um, speaking of eating healthy, what are we drinking? <laughs> oh yeah, are you ready for this? <laughs> well, you okay? So I, Brett's got a white wine. I believe I got a white wine. Oh shit! A, a version of white wine that doesn't look white, looks green, but he hasn't told me what it is. So, can you give me like some music, like some pump up music, like something's gonna come in? Like, oh, that's not what we want. <laughs> After we just sip, sip it, we might. I'm really struggling because it's big here. Oh, we God, have a big bottle awful. of screw it wine. <laughs> screw it, you guys. We're back in Kelowna <laughs> and we've got one of the worst wines possible. <laughs> can you make can you do a camera check? I want to make sure I didn't fuck up the, the zoom here. No, it's fine. You think so? Yeah, it's good. Don't worry about it. It's not even working. Yeah. Yeah, man. I saw this on the shelf and I immediately thought of you. I was like, let's let's screw it. Screw it, man. Let's just get some wine. Let's screw it. You know what? I'm I'm all on I am I'm on board. I haven't had a bottle of wine in a long time. Oh, uh, that smells good. Contigo slam it. Right over that. But it actually it, it smells great. <laughs> it smells quite fruity. So I, a, I'm uh, on board so far. Savon Blanc. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, ASMR moment. Yeah, these videos don't do good on TikTok. We're done posting. No, we're done with the ASMR. But maybe it was because we were fucking slurping it the whole time. Oh, you can't tell me that doesn't sound great, though. Come on. It's a piss. Yeah. Oh, a different octave on this Contigo. Well, that's a Yeti you had there. I have a Yet. A Yet and a Contig. Contig your Yets. Oh, Brett. You didn't see nothing. Jesus. <laughs> um... But I have a, I have something. I, I'm just gonna bring this up before we talk about the movie. Um, you should move to Victoria in May. 
No, I can't do that. You know you that. Drop, drop your shit, and move in May. I have some things to finish here. Yeah, I know. You should just stop it. And you I'm, should just come. Then we can I'm, get a four bedroom. The four bedrooms are so much cheaper. I don't think I'm slapping bird of beef in Victoria this summer. Oh, so you'd be slapping, dude. Bird of beef is all over Victoria. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm st- I'm here for one more summer in this beautiful place known as Kelowna, British Columbia. Hey, cheers. Whatever, man. Yeah, cheers. Hey, dink let's, me. Let's see how this tastes. Holy, oh my my contigo. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's bad. <laughs> what do you taste out of that? Burns going down. Dude, that actually tastes like like <laughs> rotten grape juice. <laughs> you know when you eat have you ever been to a vineyard before and ate I've, the grape? I've, I've worked the at them. They're good. They're good. And they kinda have that like you well, know, they have like they have the waxy like outside. Yeah, yeah, but they no, but they kind of have that like. Ooh, that was acidic. That is all I taste. This is just acidic juice. Well, screw it, right? <laughs> yeah, screw it. Put it in a bottle. They're fucking jipping us right now. Where's screw it from? I think it's Naramata. Screw it. Set aside your to do list and treat yourself. This is not something that. No, okay, wait. Before you continue. That is such bullshit. <laughs> this is terrible marketing. <laughs> this is what's happening. Is that. Women will read that like moms, like moms that have had a, a long day, and they're like, "Screw it, mm-hmm. screw it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna a big bottle tonight, ladies. <laughs> You're getting gypped out of your money." Oh, they have a bunch of things here on the side too. How much did this bottle cost? Do what you want. Be good to yourself. Oh my God! Power. Treat yourself thinking. well. Seize the moment. Power of positive thinking. Um, it was great. like fourteen bucks. It's fourteen dollars for a one point five liter of wine. It's a big That's fish. A- that's a bad sign. That's a bad <laughs> sign. Is it 3%? Is there any alcohol content in this? 12. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you should have got two. That's a bargain. <laughs> That's a fucking bargain. That's an average for... Uh... Next time we got to get a box of wine. I've, I haven't done a box of wine in a long time. Do that. I saw, so my uh, my dad showed me this bag picture of, of this uh, Twisted Tea box that his buddy bought. Mm. It's a bag of like Twisted Tea, like the liquid, like two liters of it in a bag in the box. Yeah. And it's got like a big American flag on it. It's like... Jesus Christ. It says, like, fucking, uh, for freedom. And it has, like, an American flag on the box. Yeah. That's what America's doing. Yikes. Not doing that in Canada. Good for them. We can't say freedom in Canada. Dude, people are, like, they have flags on their trucks now. And I swear to God, some people think of it as an act of terrorism. <laughs> yeah, I, I see them around. I'm, I'm scared for them sometimes. Like, you might get hurt. No, but it's, like, they're they're literally just being, like, I love Canada and I want to be free. <laughs> and then there's everybody else who's, like, No! Yeah. How dare you? Okay. You just want anarchy and you want to block the roads. You should get 48 hours. That's it. <laughs> you get 48 hours and you're done. Shut up, man. That's the whole point of a protest is to cause a nuisance. Yeah. It's to cause some malarkey, you know? It's ca- it cause a little huggabaloo. Like, I-, I don't know what these people, like, it's all millennials. Well, and Gen X's. Yeah. So don't forget about the Gen X. They're like older. Or Gen Z. They're like 50 year olds. They're right? fuckheads. Well, yeah, our parents. Well, uh, my parents aren't there yet, but they will be soon. They're just millennials. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like, it's ridiculous. It's you know, ridiculous. you know what else is full of uh, fucking uh, Gen X's and millennials? What? A movie we watched. <laughs> it's true, guys. We went and watched our movie of the week, and we watched the original X Men from two thousand. And holy moly. It does not continue from Dark Phoenix, can we tell you that much? No, okay, so this is, again, I've explained this to you. I tried to explain this to you. No, I understood what you said. Right, like, like, it's bullsh- the, the, like movie, I... the movie we watched is here. Yeah. Dark Phoenix is here. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that makes sense, right? Like, that reality is a different reality. Because they went back and this fucked with it. This stuff doesn't happen. They went back and fucked with it, right? Yeah. That's Mystique, what Mystique is dead here. So Eric isn't bad. He's good. Eric's good. At the end of Dark Phoenix, right? Yeah. Mystique's dead. Like, that changes everything. Yeah. Right? And if it, if it didn't, ch- like, it doesn't make sense for that. So that's how I wrap it in I, my head, and I think that's the only way to do it. You should almost make a blog post. I don't think a lot of people realize that that's because, probably what it is. Because, like, this is this part where it's like we're watching from 2000 to, like, 2013. Yeah. And then here, they, like, just go back. Yeah. 
right? And it's they, a whole, they loop it back. They loop and it back. And it's like a whole new reality that just goes like a different way, right? Which, uh, if you think of it that way, it works. We should it's make cool. a YouTube video explaining this. Did that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of, like, from a lot of, like, the uh, blooper, not the blooper, but, like, the... Um, the thing's gone wrong with the X Men universe. Right. Yeah. What it's I was all reading. Negative. Yeah, and it, like, it was not what you said. Nothing. Nothing like that showed up. It was just a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get into. I think we should do a movie review channel. A grift. Uh, grifters react when we're in uh, Victoria. One hundred percent. Yeah. We'll have to do that. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry. Um, movie. What would you rate it? Okay. So okay, the movie's a five bag only because. It, like if you were if you you said this a bunch of times blade 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 right it's very blade like mm -hmm. because it's a two thousand movie right it makes sense that it's it's blade like yeah um but it was just yeah the CGI is different that fight scene at the end sucked the fight scenes were non-existent mm -hmm. I understand they were setting up a franchise and I fucking hate that yeah. I, I I do hate that part still five bags I still think it's good yeah um old Magneto you know Magneto's like giving his powers and stuff I don't know, it's just like, it's just like for the first movie, it's like, oh, Magneto's like just a dude. Yeah. And like, uh, uh, trying to like take over the world with mutants. Xavier's just a dude. I don't know. It, it, all the stuff that happens in the past, in Days of Future Past, makes you think, okay, there's absolutely no way this didn't have fundamental changes in the future. Yeah. Right? And you see that. You see that in Days of Future Past, right? They're in a different place. Xavier's mm. in in the house, you know, like it. Oh my god, it's wild. So Days of Future Past kind of shows the end. It does. It is the last movie if you really think about it. Wow. Even with Logan. Yeah. Wow. I don't I'm actually really curious this because apparently the Logan's Wolverine fun. and then Logan movie that we yeah. still need to watch are going to come after the X Men movies. Like, well, that makes sense. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I'm not that too sure. Uh, Let's hope it's in Logan. Yeah. Is that okay? Just just in case. Good. I just, just in case. I'm talking. It's really good. I know. I know. I'm doing good. You you you've sounded great. Yeah. You're doing really good. Um, anywho, I'm five bags with you. Yeah. Um, but in, you know, I was I was a little harsh on the franchise. It's okay. Um, last it week. To be. Well, last week I was a little. I was a little. I was a little brass. I, I was think. There with you. I think they deserve it. Yeah. Some they criticism. do. No, they do. No, they absolutely do. Um, um what would you? Okay. So, what do you think is going to happen in the next X Men movie called X Two? I I genuinely have absolutely no idea, but I all either. I can hope is that it's like Spider Man Two where they did better. You think like there'll be some good I, action? I, I hope so because they're gonna get feedback where they're like there wasn't enough fighting or the Kay. fighting didn't look good or the you know. We brought this up. You were asking right. like, where's the beast? Where's the beast? I know. I, like I remember watching these X Men movies when I was like younger. The he's, beast is in it. He's definitely in X Men yeah. Three. He might be in X Two, which one we're just about to watch. I'm just like he should be in the fucking one we just watched if that's the case. You know, it's just makes maybe he's teaching. Maybe he's in the classroom teaching. Maybe he's on a sabbatical. Yeah, but Mystique was there and he loves her. So like the Mystique being a bad guy doesn't make any fucking sense either. Well, she's with Magneto. No, I She I, always was. And I do know that like Magneto's idea isn't necessarily to, like be evil. He's just like I'm gonna make everybody a mutant that can be a mutant. If you can't, yep. you're gonna die. He wants to Anyways, embrace mutants. Sorry, I didn't know. Why. Yeah, uh, my prediction is that I have no fucking clue what's gonna happen. I'll tell you mine. Um, yeah, go for it. Um, I actually don't know either. Like We're going in blind. Magneto is gonna be a bad guy. Probably the bad guy. There might be some conflict with Xavier, possibly, mm -hmm. and um. They might save the day at the end. It's possible. That's my guess. That's my guess. Do you think Cyclops and Wolverine become best friends? They probably will. Yeah. They'll yeah. probably be buds. Or there'll just be that rivalry always. Hey, Logan. And Jane will always want to fuck Wolverine more than he'll want to she'll want to fuck Cyclops. Because there was always, yeah. obviously, that sexual tension. Like, hey, Logan, don't touch my girl. Yeah. Is that what it said? Yeah. Or don't talk to my girl? Yeah. 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 Was. What are you going to tell me not to talk to your girl? Don't talk to my girl. <laughs> I love. I was getting some was lines right. Hey, like, if there, yeah, like, like if something would be said. I'm like, I'd whisper it. Yeah, you've watched this movie too many times. It's true. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Saber tooth, zero continuity. Ah, that's fucked up. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Let's move on from this. We'll move on from that. Um, I think it's time to go to our phones. Let's do it. I'm actually really <laughs> curious to see how this works out. I, I don't really know what to expect. I'll be completely honest. So, guys, with. we're going on to an app that um. Fucking, if you make your life decisions off this app, uh, <laughs> fuck you. You're a loser. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, true. Oh, accept. Yeah, accept my friend request. So what app are we on, Jeremy? We're on Cold Start. 
Explain what We've CoStar is. We've talked about CoStar a little bit. Explain it again. Uh, CoStar is an app where you put in your date of birth, your time of birth, all this, right? And it gives you your horoscope. Yeah. Um, it's astrology. Now, I've talked to some wingnut girls because I'm super into astrology girls. That's my thing, right? I love a good crystal girl. I love a good astrology girl. You're right? a red flag. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, you got it. Good. <laughs> anyway, regardless, regardless, Brett, what I'm trying to say is um, the girls that are into it say that this app is fucking dog shit. So, I don't know. Okay. They all fucking... Eh, who, who, nah, they make no sense. None of it makes sense. you accept sense. my friend request? Yes, I did. So, friends, I'm going to go to... I'll just go to you. You can go to me if you want. Yeah, so is it going to show the same thing when we click on each other? Yeah. Well, okay, so like I can I can click on you and it says a Libra Sun Scorpio Moon Gemini Rising. Like oh, on the Gemini Rising, that makes sense. Like on the top? I'm kidding. I don't know what that means. Like on the top? <clears throat> Is that what I'm looking at? <clears throat> yeah, Cancer Sun. Cancer Sun? Yeah. Moon Scorpio? Yeah. And up Aries. Aries. Yep. Okay. What the fuck that means? Um, my your chart. Let's see what your chart or wait your uh wait what is it, what is it? your circle your circle. Let's see what your circle says. What's my circle? Uh, your sun is in Libra. Okay, so I don't see anything in this. Uh, it kind of looks like a satellite. Okay, so this. <clears throat> I'll read. I'll just read the the sun is in Libra. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. So this is our connection, right? Like this is us two. Um. Ooh, I can see compatibility. Like what we're sharing. Yeah. Okay. Um, compatibility. Yeah, uh, we're probably seeing the same thing here, so. Um, <laughs> intellect in communication. Is it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Intellect communication? Basic, like, basic identities, love and pleasure. We're not good for each other today. Oh. Yeah, weird. I was kind of pissed at you today. Yeah? Yeah. Little, little angsty. I brought you ramen. You can see that in the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh, sex and aggression is high compatibility. So what does that mean? Philosophies of life, life, good. Sense of responsibility, we're really good. So we're gonna be good together when we move out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Today, no hacks needed. Your goal, that's me, is to explore intuition. While Brett P. Fligger, fifty-two, is figuring out how to value their own contributions. They're too smart for their own good right now. You're too smart for your own good right now. Am I really? Yeah. Allow them to express their opinion without forcing your own opinions as a response. Just use your words. So speak up. Focus on your own opinions as a response. Just use your words. What? Was that useful? What's yours say today? Uh, where am I reading? Is that thing right there? Uh, compatibility. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Brett Fligger, fifty-two. Your goal is to explore creativity, while no hacks needed is figuring out how to see the big picture. They're too smart for their own good right now. Allow them to express their opinion without forcing your own opinion as a response. Wait, Just use your words. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> so we have the same advice? <laughs> yeah. So we both have to bite our tongues today around each other? <laughs> French kiss it. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's go to our do's and don'ts. Is that at the bottom? Uh, no, I think it's just, yeah, it's, it's, at, here, just scroll down to your, are you at this page, the front page? I'm right here. No, get oh, off of me. Okay. Sorry. Um, we don't know how to use this app, guys. I'm on this thing? Yeah. Okay. Nice photo, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> My uh, shirtless <laughs> pic. <laughs> I'm sure she loved that. Yeah, she did. Um, okay. Uh, instead of looking for validation from romantic interests, try to give that to yourself. Okay, good. Where are you looking at, man? It's just my first thing that says. Oh, like on the top there? Yeah. Okay, should I read mine? Yeah. Um, good evening, Brett. It's Saturday, March 5th. Okay. Today at a glance. Oh, my God. Trust your instincts. Power in thinking and creativity and self. Pre okay. That's enough. Scroll down to your do's and don'ts. Do's. Best interest. Timing. Pri prioritization. Don't. X is Instagram. Idealization. Vengeance. Uh, I am vengeance. That was crispy. Where is... Okay, here we go. Um, do I just read the whole thing from the top there? No, the just the do's. Just the do? Yeah. And the do. Dumps. Watercolor, typewriters, Polaroids. <sighs> okay. Don't. Big words, microphones, in a nutshell. Oh, microphones? <laughs> big words. <laughs> don't use any big words and don't get in front of a microphone, Brett. Oh, already fucking... Here you are. <laughs> the things that it'll tell you to do. Oh, I'm supposed to watch an art film. Keep, keep scrolling down. I'm supposed to watch an art film with a, a water sun. Is anybody in the audience a water sun? I hope so. I'd love to watch a movie with you. Let's watch a Discord movie. I need some water. You don't. 
Okay, where am I reading this? Just keep scrolling down then. Like Learn the, from the water breaker? suns. Avoid Earth Venuses. The um, icebreaker? I read that. I don't know. Oh, like, this one? Keep scrolling down. Devise a plan. Yeah. Okay. Devise a plan with a. Devise a plan with a water moon. Mm. I don't know what the fuck that means. You have a greater ability to see the details right now. So you get out there. A water moon will celebrate the way you calculate a correct response. Yeah. What the a water fuck? Mo- a water moon will. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck a water a wa- moon is. No, a water moon. You have to put in your Tinder bio, looking for a water moon today. Do you think a lot of them will understand? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's bait. That's how you get them. That's like fucking good bait for fish. And then I pay for uh, the boost. No boosting. I used a free boost the other day. Oh, wow. Did you get a good good boosting? Yeah. Did you get some matches you wanted? Yeah. Yeah, they fucking hide all that shit from you, hey? I just don't pay for Tinder like you. No, it's true because you're not frugal enough to figure out how to do it properly, but that's fine. Well, you know, I my, get the my 99 discount. plus matches, like, you I know, get the Christmas. Big deal, yeah, but right? you can see them. Yeah. It's much more fun to see them. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't, yeah it's fine. You don't want to see that shit. Yeah, okay, sure. It's better than having to skim through them. <sighs> Anyways, regard, regardless, Brett, regardless. Okay. Oh, did I start recording? You totally did. Did I? I think you did. Oh. Making me shit bricks. I shot a brick there. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a fucking brick. A full on brick. Um, what the fuck was I even saying? I lost my train of thought there. Co star. Like, look at this. Sophie, four hours ago. Should I do a short haircut? Leo can't choose between very long and short. Yeah, yeah. This is the next thing I was going to get us to. So, yeah, what are you? You're, what are you? The, the, I'm, a Lib- I'm a Libra. No, but what is the, is it, what's the club you're in? It's Virgo, all the way down to the bottom. Mercury Club. Virgo, Mercury. Okay, cool. Um, you want to read some of yours? Yeah, give me, a nu- give me a number in between one and ten. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Gemini Venus, three fifty-five. What causes a Cancer Sun to be emotionally numb? Uh, typically, for me, I use heroin um, and a little dab of Xanax. Heroin. Oh, I don't want to get banned. Whatever. And Xanax. What makes you numb? Yeah. Life. Well, Brett, this isn't a question for you. It's a question for Gemini <laughs> Venus. Sorry, bro. You're not All right, answering give me a number. question. Give me a number. That's seven. not one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus, that's a big one. <sighs> Virgo Mercury 507. <laughs> I am a constant joker, but it comes off as rude. Oh, oh, this is like a big one, dude. Like I have to like click on it's it. It's okay. Maybe. It's okay. Yeah, read it out. Let's hear what 506 has to say. I am a constant joker, but it comes off as rude. I am stuck between adapting to certain people's personalities slash feelings. How do I fucking get to the full thing? It says there's more. There's like da 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 da. Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> adapting to certain people's personalities and feelings in brackets, such as potential new friends, because I'm already socially unacceptable. Or should I just stay as a joker who comes off as rude? Though I am like that in the beginning, I actually really enjoy intellectual conversations and talking about deep situations. I just have two sides. <sighs> But it's between adaption or remaining the same. A struggling Libra. Um, do you want you want to hear what I have to say to this person? Yeah, absolutely. As somebody who struggles with the same thing, obviously. Um, I think you know it's really important to like you know set your boundaries. Yeah. Be on one side, one or the other. You got you got to know who you're dealing with, right? Right. Know um, your audience, sort of a thing. I think Virgary or Virgo Mercury. Virgary. <laughs> Virgary Mercury. <laughs> Virgary Mercury. Five hundred six. Um, seven. Sorry, pardon me. I think um, just be you, man. If yeah. you're rude. You're just a cunt, and maybe you should stop being one. Yes, like, yeah, it's step it back a little <laughs> like, bit. You know, if they if you're they're obviously like you can physically see they're upset from what you're saying because you're calling them a fat fuck. Maybe stop that. Now, if they're fat, I think you should continue talking. Actually, them yeah, a fat no, fuck. no. If they're fat, keep calling them a fat fuck. But I will say this: but if they're skinny, tell them to bulk up. Yeah, tell them to get put some muscle on. You fucking stick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Gregory Mercury needs to fucking get off this app. Actually. <laughs> Virgery Mercury Delete 507. The app. He needs to go. You want to do one more of these? <laughs> go for it. You, want, you, you do. I'll give you a number. Okay. <laughs> you love it. Eh? Give me a number. One to seven. Mm, one to seven? Nine. Give me nine if you want. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was the last one. Oh, God. Is it big? Gemini Venus 936. <laughs> this, poor, this poor girl or guy. Yeah. I miss him. Is that all it is? It's all it fucking <laughs> says. Let's read some replies. What do you got to say to that? Let's read some replies. You missed the version of yourself that you were with him. Jesus, you that's never deep. needed him, but maybe you thought, maybe you 
maybe he taught you something. That's like, dude, that love of... that exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Jesus, I miss them. Okay, slut. Uh, <laughs> lol. Somebody said he taught me not to put up with people's BS anymore. Um, he probably miss you too. Okay, not good advice. I felt this for a while too. Eventually got over him. Oh, sorry, this is Gen- Gemini Venus zero uh, one eight. I felt like this for a while too. Eventually got over him, thankfully. Met up with him the other day, and the spark was gone. I'm so happy I'm not longer attached. <laughs> you will get there this time. Butter- <laughs> butterfly, butterfly. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you got to say to that? Um, yeah, just shut the fuck up. Grow don't, up. Yeah, it's, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. I think the first comment actually is exactly what it is. You miss who you were with him because yep. you, uh, Gemini Venus 007007, Gemini Venus, good job. <laughs> I'll actually reply to this. Um you're a boss bitch. Yeah. Don't waste your time. XOXO. Really I think, um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, I'll give you another one. Three. One, two, three. Ready for this? We're just turning into astrology gurus. Yeah, this exactly. is great. I love this. I think some we Girls, do need to tackle, up. too, is the guys who are in astrology as well. Uh, who? I've never met him. Exactly. <laughs> um, Virgory oh, Mercury. We need to actually, I think we need to make more men into astrology. Sure. We should start a movement. A little conversion. This is a miracle. A miracle March. Miracle March, guys. Hashtag Miracle right. March. Virgo Mercury 746. Does anyone else's God complex kick in when they're high? <laughs> <laughs> Only on Coke. Yes. Is that when they feel like Jesus? <laughs> um yeah, or this, when they see Jesus. That's a great question. Does that happen to you when you're on drugs? I don't do drugs. Right. So your God replies. Your God com- complex comes out when you're playing basketball. Y'all's only kicks in when you're high. Lol, I love Virgo Mercury Club. I feel so seen. You know, it's pretty constant. Ha ha. Yes. <laughs> um yes. I can't really can't can't really um You don't have any comments for this, eh? I I can say something. I don't really relate to this, but I will say I have some stories of when I've been fucked up. Um <laughs> Jesus didn't help me. He <laughs> fucked me actually. My legs stopped working cuz he put his fat cock so far up my ass it it <laughs> made my legs stop working and my head started spinning because all the blood went to my head. <laughs> fucked up story. But <laughs> this is Jesus. Yeah, I got a lot of yeah. like I got some stories we can talk about when I'm high, but yeah, I think um <laughs> <laughs> Definitely does kick in, man. Like fuck, one hundred percent. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, enough God, with this no. app. We can. Yeah, we it's can. fun though. Um, I will be deleting this after because I've never want this on my phone. Oh, it's such a good conversation topic starter for women. Girls love it. <sighs> Maybe. I, and then you can weed. You can weed out the good ones and the bad ones. Right? You can be like, oh, I love You're CoStar. So right. And they're like, ugh, Dude. CoStar is fucking Kay. stupid. And you're like, Thoughts? thank you. Oh, an opener when you uh, are talking to a girl at the club. What's your CoStar? Hey. You want a friend up on CoStar? Yeah, yeah. And then like, hey, I'm both, looking for an Earth Moon. Are you? And you're both you're both reading it as you're like you're fucking fingering her on the dance floor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we're compatible. Yeah. It says we're compatible. <gasps> or it's a, not. You're a kite chart. It says you're not good for me. Yeah. After you're done f- flicking her <laughs> bean, <laughs> she's fucking grabbing a wet floor sign because it's splashed all over the place. It's, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, you have to keep it safe for the people dancing on the dance floor, right? Everyone's dancing; they could slip. Uh, we went to the club. Do you want to talk about the club a little bit? We we've, we've mm. been back to the club over the past few weeks. Uh, not this next week coming up. The week after, we have a big Thursday night at the club. Yeah, we do. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. It's gonna be. We're gonna have to get there at eight thirty. Yep. Are I'm you talking. Can, to, I'm, you get there at eight thirty. We'll come and join you. Um, I'll fi- I'll make sure my buddy's in line and we'll meet up with him. Cool. I'm not even gonna go to class that day. We're just gonna send it. Yeah. No. Fuck that. Yeah. You don't go to class. You fucking do it online, man. It's not online anymore. Oh, really? really? I'm all in person, bro. Oh, you've been saying that there's... Yeah, that's right. I've been talking about cute girls. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. there's a bunch of cuties. In and hot class. dudes. Hey, you know what? Maybe you should get pegged. Why? You're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 2022, year of getting pegged. Men should allow their buddies to fuck them in the ants once. Just to see if you like it. Just to see if you like it. No, okay, this is a good thing we should talk about. Because if, if you perform one surgery, are you a surgeon? No, you're not. If you suck one dick, if you fuck one dick, are you gay? No. You don't know if you like it. What's funny about that? I genuinely don't think it's funny. I think that this is a double standard in our society nowadays. Do you think you'd like it? I don't know. I haven't had a dick in my ass. 
Want to find out? <laughs> find out next week on Bunch of Critters. Episode 15. <laughs> big, the special. Big episode. Big yeah, episode. Big, it is a big episode, actually. <laughs> Anyways, other other than having dick in my ass, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh, I, I was going to go off on something there. I really was. Um, Do you remember what it was? No, I don't. That's fine, though. It's all good. CoStar was fun. Yeah. CoStar was a fun little moment. Uh, my weight goals, I think that's going to be good. Um, I I saw this ad a few days ago, Let's and it's it. because I'm fat, and I get it, right? So they're, they're targeting yeah, me. Yeah, lots of fat ads towards you. Well, no, they're just like having a – being obese – Obesity is a disease. And it was like a three second ad. Like there was no skipping this ad. Obesity is a disease. Not everyone can be active. Ad ends. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I don't even yeah. know where it was coming from. No, if you're fucking inactive, you're fat. And if you're fat, you're gross and you should be slaughtered. <laughs> like there should be a limit. There, there is a thing, dude. N- there should be a limit. There is a thing? There is a thing. Like, if you're too big, like, you just can't move. Well, no, and this is what I'm saying, because I, I, I hear it all the time where it's just like, oh, well, I have obesity. It's a, it runs in my family. Okay, what do you uh, eat in a day? It's called laziness. Yeah, no, but family. what do you eat in a day? And you watch what they eat It's called in a day. margarine and fucking sausage. It's fucking insane. It's like, that's four <laughs> servings for breakfast, sir. <laughs> that's what I eat. No, you don't. No. I eat a lot. Have you seen My 600 Pound Life? What a show, hey? Holy fuck. Dude, when they die, they can't even get them out of the building sometimes. It's insane. They let them just decompose there. They put them in, they just pour acid on them and let it burn? No, they take the wall out and then use a crane to pull them out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's fucked. I mean, you, it, there's this, okay, point, there's this one even... video where, like, the one uh, guy's on the back of that, like, gator. I saw and he that. Goes up yeah. the fucking curb, he falls off, and he's like a wave of fat just hitting oh. the ground. He died, I think. That's disgusting. He probably did, yeah, because he, <laughs> he was eating himself to death. So and gross. it's just frustrating to me that there's this, like, negligence where you can just say, no, it's not because I, uh, it's not the eating. I, I've cut down to 2,000 c- calories. No, you haven't. Yeah. No, you haven't. No, you definitely you, did not. You, 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 you eat your 2,000 calories, and then you triple it every fucking three hours. And those I'm six sorry. Cokes you're drinking a day aren't helping. I have. Uh, it's true. It's true. At every meal. They're drinking a fucking yeah. package of of sugar. Yeah. No, not packet, like a fucking, you know. Lots poop. of sugar in the breakfast gets the insulin pump in. You're tired later. Oh, my God. Eat more junk food. It's well, a you, whole thing, man. And you don't move. Yeah, you don't You're move. You're in a wheelchair. You're sitting there. Again, this is, I'm talking about morbidly obese, and right? this is why my dating app will work. Yeah. Wheels. Yeah, wheels. 2022. <laughs> Love it. Uh, what kind of name is that? Fucking stupid. <laughs> Wheels. That's so stupid. That's the <laughs> stupidest name I've ever heard. Yeah. Anyways, I, I don't mean to rant about fat people. I just I, I don't like this movement where it's like fat phobia. Well, you see the whole movement. It's like, not good to make fun of fat people. Yeah, yeah yes, it is. Yes. Like there's that whole movement of like fat phobia. Um, fat phobia. Like fat models and stuff, man. Like it's yeah, crazy. Get out of here. Just like obviously, it's not so, like I I I I don't think that the beauty center that they're showing now is good. No, definitely not. But that doesn't mean we should be showing cows. And yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not being. Fu- it's not a joke. It's, it's not a joke. Like you see these girls, and it's just like women are supposed to have two udders, not eight. <laughs> they have these fucking rolls, and it's like blah 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 blah. One, two, three, four. Like that's not fucking a human. Okay. There is a thing. Like there's a there's a difference between a, like a natural, just like normal looking girl model, right? Where when she does sit bend over. Sure, she has yeah. some rules, just like any boy. Yeah, but it's different when who's that big fat like uh, music star? What's her name? Oh, uh, Lizzo. Lizzo, they're making models of her size. I know. Do you know when she? When, did you see when she was trying to lose weight that people were getting mad at her? The, the fat community. Whatever. Yeah, dude. It's yeah. like, come on, bro. She's trying to get healthy because her doctor said she's dying. And then now she doesn't want to because she's getting yelled at. Yeah. I actually don't know what's happening. No, she's just yeah. lazy and doesn't want to continue working out. So she made it a whole movement, and then she's getting publicity over and being lazy. Kind of like Jared's journey. True. True. <laughs> true. Um, I'm not kidding. actively trying to get fat, though. No, but no. it's true. It's true. Jared's journey's kind of taken a dip because I don't have a fucking membership, <laughs> nor do I have a vehicle. So it's been a little different. <laughs> Is the fan on in here? We, we might need to open that door for a second. I am fucking scorching. No, we're uh, sweating this one out in yeah. the sweat lodge. Okay, that's fine. We gotta <laughs> figure out the fan. Do you remember we were, we were gonna name the podcast like the sweat lodge or something like that? Yeah, some of the sweat shop. The sweat sh- <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna sweat shop. You'll be active for a couple hours a day. <laughs> when should I do my fast? Like 
for your thing? Yeah, I have to eat tonight. Like I, I have to eat tonight because I'm going to work. Start um start tomorrow. Like at twelve. I guess to it's eight, hard when you're working. To eight. Right? Um, you really want to focus your fast on when you're not eating. A good eight hours of your not eating stage is when you should be sleeping. So right. your night shift stuff might fuck with you a bit, but um. Well, no. If I do twelve tomorrow. to eight, start tomorrow. If I do twelve to eight tomorrow, and then just start twelve to eight, that's fine because I work at three, so I can have a. Good, I can eat like from work from like sorry. So you start you start eating from what time? Sorry, twelve to eight. Twelve like p.m. PM. to eight p.m. to eight p.m. Yeah, okay. is that doable? To eat? Yeah, or maybe like eleven to seven. Yeah, start with eleven to seven, and then slowly okay. work it. Because the when I did my fast, I did a um, I woke up at five thirty six. Yeah, didn't eat till lunch, and then I would like okay. do like the two the whatever calorie limit I was at. Right, 2,000, 2,500. And I was sweating, working out a lot, so yeah. it was fucking pretty intense. But Yeah. Yeah, man. I think you got this. It'll be I'd cool. like to do 2,000 calories. If you're, like, like if you're like fucking curious, send me some texts. I can post yeah, them. I'll take photos and stuff. But anyways, just wanted to cross that out. Uh, I went and did stand-up on Thursday. <laughs> Bombed. <laughs> Dude, the guy that was sitting beside us, the yeah. one who called me out for my pants the one week before, Yeah, he uh, was like, Dude, that guy looks like he's fucking Amish. <laughs> Should have used that. Really said Keeping that it is Amish. Perfect. Keeping it Amish. We make that joke all the time I on know. here. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, it was a it was a full crowd. I was so nervous. It was good. It was really humbling to fucking just go up there and bomb. Absolutely. Like, uh, everybody was, you know, all of us were. That one chick. I had one joke that did all right. My dick joked it all right. I didn't yeah. deliver it well though. No, the way you I, I, I heard the way you deliver, I was like, Oh, he fucking yeah, you I forgot fucked. a word or two in I there and just kinda switched around. But you know, it happens, man. Yeah, I gotta work it out a little bit more. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> it's good. Work them out, work them out. Yeah, work out the kinks. But uh I still felt confident. I like I still felt good. Hey, the up the there. biggest like, thing is just getting up there. Like yeah. I'm not up there. To be fair, I don't really want to be a comedian. I'd rather be a like a comedian in this kind of way and movie related, but Yeah, no, I get that. Stand up comedy is fun. I don't know. It's fun. It's it's fucking. If I went up there, yeah. I'd be telling stories. I don't think I have like I'm like I'm not a joke curator. I'd like to do stories more. Do like like imagine if I shared my shit story when I spread my yeah. ass cheeks open, I yell cousin, cousin, <laughs> like look, look, cousin. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. But anyhow, I don't know. It was not too bad. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know it is what it is. Um. I don't know. I'm a. Uh, I'm really excited. I don't know. You've heard the news. Probably. I think so. Oh, that's right. No, nobody has because it's been completely blocked. Nobody's reporting on it because there's a war going on. You know the Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell? What's happening? Well, Ghislaine hasn't been dealt with. Well, his island is like... Didn't they sell it? ...being bid for... Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I think I heard about that. Yeah. And it's like... It just kind of went right under the... Right under. And uh, it's exciting because uh, we bought it, actually. Yeah, we own it now, guys. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna surprise you on the podcast. Uh we we bought it. Are you so, serious? Yeah, we we have Little St. John's or Little John's Peter but what is it called? Little little I forget what it's called. We're gonna need yeah. we're gonna, it's something like that. Um Little John's. Little St. John's. That's what it's fucking called. I'm pumped. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna burn everything down. We're gonna, you know, yeah. do a little saging, right? All the rape and, you know, underage sex that happened there. Yeah, we don't want any of that. Uh, we That's don't gross. want any of that energy. Uh, but with good negative energy comes beautiful positive energy. So we're going to yep. try and use that energy to build a nice little s- oasis. It's the Bunch of Grifters Retreat, uh, BGR. Uh, it's going to be great, honestly. I- I'm very yeah. excited. Uh, we've got an investor. Uh, he actually invested over like $33,000 million. Fuck yeah. So like $33 billion. Um, he's really helping us out, and we appreciate that. Uh, he'll stay unnamed for right now. Uh, yeah. He's asked to be unnamed. Of course, we don't want to share our investors' nope, it's names. not necessary, but he's yeah. uh, he's been backing the pod heavily, and uh, it's very exciting. So yeah, we're, we'll be recording uh, from Epstein. It'll probably be three to five years until we actually get everything finalized. Yeah, we gotta like take everything down, build it up. Um, but realistically, it's exciting. It's something to look forward to. I want to dance with some island girls. Yeah, it'll be fun. Right, <laughs> legal island girls. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's very important. Actually, that's actually that. extremely important to bring up because especially that, with the island that we're just bought. that island is a pedophile island. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a budget? Do you budget your money? 
yeah, I've been thinking about this a little bit more. Like we should we should be doing that. And I mean, I mean, you have some more time considering you have the summer and all that to work and do whatever mm. the fuck you plan on doing. Slapping bird of bat, beef, <laughs> certified bird of beef. When I move in with you, I definitely will have a budget. Yeah, but it also just getting to the point of moving in with us as well, right? Like it's just good to have some money set away. Oh, that's the plan. But I've been looking at like budgeting, and it's like it's so it's it's kind of fun to do. It's kind of like a game almost, yeah, right? Like, How little money can I use? Yeah. Right? How much of other people's money can I utilize? Right? Like, uh, how long will my credit card work? (laughs) Yeah, you never know. Um, But no, no, no. I I just mean, like, for food, you know, like, I I live at home right now. So it's like, I can eat the food at home. I can't. No, you're not allowed. I get a little fuzz in your beard there on the right. I get destroyed. Uh, You put it up further. Yeah, Yeah, nobody sees it. It's fine. No, it's up further on the right there. Yeah, Yeah, right there. You got it. Yeah. Beautiful. It's off. Good job, Brett. What the fuck is that, man? Eh, I spit it a little fuzzy your way. Yeah, there you go. Our beards are really just in there, hey? I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow, and I'll take just, care of the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it long here. Yeah, I'm going, did I tell you I'm going for Viking style? Yeah, you've been saying this Braid for a while. Braid up or man bun? Yeah. Oh, cool, I'm yeah, really You're saying braids. I don't know. I completely disagree with the idea, but uh, whatever. On the, bo- on the boat, I'll braid it up probably. Like, I, on both sides? I'm willing to support you. Thanks, man. I'm willing to support you in your <laughs> endeavors. Um, just don't chop your penis off. That's all I ask. No, I will never do that. Good. I have a horse cock. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been told. It grows in people's mouths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been told. <laughs> we'll call me the podcast man. <laughs> yeah, the podman. Podman. We're we're talking the town and being seen. The people that listen to this and being seen are gonna be like, shut the fuck Put a up. Poster Jeremy. up in there. No, I'm just a super difficult customer because that one day I shat on baristas. Yeah. What's wrong with putting my fucking name on the cup? They do it now. They better. They put my name on the cup now. Fuckers. Just like they untuck my beds. Anyways, um, okay, this is okay, and, and this is a great example right now. Yeah, we're, we're enjoying a drink. Well, yeah. not, well, enjoy is a stretch. How far are you in there? Not. Just slam that. We gotta finish this bottle. I'm not taking this home. Absolutely not. I'm not getting drunk tonight on this. This is disgusting. I'll have half of this at this no, rate. No, dude. I'm not drinking that. This is not a bunch of grifters from heart. You're being a pussy. Dude, I I have been too drunk the past few days. What? I've been far too... I, dude, last night? What last I night? I went out. Where? To my party, buddy. What party? I went and had a rager. Where? To my brother. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You did it? We didn't drink a thing. Where'd you go? My house. You partied on Twitch. We played Wii. Oh, shit. We played 1-2 Switch. It was actually on the Switch. What'd you play? Yeah. One two switch. What the fuck is that? On the switch. It's uh, a party game. It's a party game? Yeah, it's a party game. Who won? He did. Of it was course. bullshit. It was a 50 50. I don't believe that. You always lose. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was It was fun. Uh, honestly, one two switch is a great game. I forgot I had a VR headset. Um, jerked off with it last night. It was fantastic. They actually did? No, I didn't. But I, I was really tempted. But I was so tired, I didn't want to put like a screen in front of my face. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking I might give that a shot. Yeah. I really, I, I'd like to find a girl that's willing to let me fuck her while I have my VR headset on. I think you found one. You want it? I, not me, but I think you have one. That's true, actually. Yeah. Holy fuck. She'd suck me off while I do it. The um, what, what should I call her? The load capacitator. Load capacity, sure. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. The LC. She doesn't know I have a podcast. It's fine. Um, I respect women. Um, but, and, and this is something that I, I'm actually, this is a good segue into what I want to say. I didn't bring up the drink thing, but that's fine. We'll go back to it. Um, I specifically wrote this down. Um, okay. And, and girls think differently than men. And, yeah. I, and I genuinely have been learning more and more to love that. Like, they look at things so much differently than guys do. Oh, for sure. Do. Like, they they get hung up on different things. They they notice different things, right? Uh, emotionally, obviously, just like to the nines. Yeah. Uh, none of this is the like. This is none of this is attacking women at all. It's like it's interesting. It's really interesting. Yeah. It's because I'm hanging out with women more. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I kind of closed myself off for last year, but. Uh, yeah, now that I've been hanging out with our friend of the pod more, um, it's just interesting patterns you find. Good you know? or bad? Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Guy like guys too. Like I am not I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. I'm just saying it's like it's interesting that we genuinely we're all humans, but men and women think differently. Oh yeah. Right. I've heard the TED talk where it's like, and this is I don't know if anybody else has heard this. Uh, I don't know. Um where women think in circles, but men think in boxes. Where women can like have like a bunch of different circles going on, all touching the outside of each circle, right? 
But men think in boxes where it's like one thing at a fucking time. Because we can only think of one thing yeah, at a time. Yeah, where it's just like the, the, the multitasking just is not there. Nope. Because we're just like, once we're thinking about this thing, we're doing this thing. Once we're doing that thing, we're doing that yeah. thing. And just like all men really just are kind of like that. Good example. You're standing outside in the lawn. You're cutting the grass because you're just cutting the grass, right? You're 37 years old. Helicopter flies over. What do you do? You look up at it. You look up at it. And you, <laughs> and you, and fuck, you stop. And you fucking stare for a second. <laughs> all men will do this. Yeah, you're like, fuck, what what, what model is that? What all? Not even that. Is that a 37 it, it's not. It, it, it doesn't even go that far. It's just all men will take that second to just. It's so true. I do the whole time. What the fuck's going on up there? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Right, you'll be you'll be driving on the road and you you like look, you pull your moonroof open, you're like looking through it, and you're like what? Hey, 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 fuck! Holy <laughs> fuck, that's a pretty decent angle right there. Yeah. You can almost see that right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> you look over to the guy in the next the, the car next to you, and he's just like, what the fuck's going on? You like look at my like, hey buddy, you see that fucking <laughs> copper up there, the chopper bopper? Yeah, yeah, she's fucking going 45 degrees, fucking pretty solid. She's going strong today. Winds are good. Like I, I don't know, it's just, it's a masculine urge to just stop. Right. Well, it's because men are men. Men are men. And women are women. And I think it's 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 cool. And I th- I think we can't forget this. I don't think society would run properly if it was, uh, if everyone thought as women and everyone thought as men. I no, think it's it, got to it, be a connection between both. It'd run much smoother. You think so? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, so there'd be I don't no know. bullshit. <laughs> That's not true. Between both, there'd be no bullshit. Nope. It would just be straight and narrow, right right on the line. No, of I think ordering. So, I think chaos. That's how society would work if you say okay, say you just had males. Eventually, someone would get bored. You'd have a lot more homosexuals. If right? it was all men? Yeah. And vice versa for women as well. So regardless, you'd still get that that that, that female and male kicking in, I feel like, if you just had one or the other. You're thinking about this solely from the sex perspective, though. The whole thing about fucking a girl is that you're making a baby. Not all the time. No. no. That I'm just thinking about what can I, I can do to them. <laughs> no. But what I'm trying to tell you is like... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is like that's the whole point of having sex. That right? is like, the like biological fundamental... point of having sex. True. There's yeah. There's something to do with. There's like... this other thing called roster building. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're just trying to have as much sex as possible. Well, yeah, and you can't you can't put her on the roster until she's tried out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you got to get past the third tryout. You have a PTO, which is a player tryout. Obviously, yeah. you go out for drinks. You yeah. see what she's all about. And yeah. You decide whether or not you want her. And then you, you text her in a week or two and you decide, yeah. hey, you give her a place in time and if she decides to show up, that means she gets a contract. Yeah. Which means you're fucking her that night. No, no, no. It's not a contract. It's a, it's like a, it's like a, uh, well, we're going to test your, your abilities. We're going to, we agreement. Well, it's, it's kind of like a, an assessment. Mm-hmm. It's an assessment is what I would say. It's a combine. Yeah. Because we're both plowing. <laughs> <laughs> you from the front, me from the back. Yeah, Brett and I have talked about this. Do we want to? <laughs> sure, let's do it. So if we, when we, sorry, pardon me, when we do double team a girl, uh, Brett's taking the back and I'm taking the front. And we're going to do our famous shake. Yeah, we're going to do a nice little. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> we're both going to impregnate her and, and she's going to have double up. twins. She looks up. She's like, who is that fucking yeah from? <laughs> Well, she doesn't know. She had a... well, she won't be able to move because yeah. you're... Well, you're holding her face because you're so aggressive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just can't. Like... No, not I literally listen to the podcast episode 12, and I'm just Which like, one? yeah, but the, what was it? Uh, trip down memory lane where I'm like, I fucked her on the... Ki- oh, I, I fucked her in the front of the net, actually. I pushed her up against the net, and then I fucked her in the face. <laughs> it's like so aggressive, but it's fucking hilarious. It's good times. Uh, yeah, watch our other stuff, guys. I have okay. I have a funny story to tell you. Yeah, so I have a friend. He told me this story, man. Okay. Oh my god, I called him. I called him Bloodshot for this. Oh god, <laughs> I already know this is fucking going, and I hate so, it. So I see him. Let's just say I see him, right? Yeah. He comes in. I, I haven't heard him. this story. Either. He has a. Uh, he has these glasses on. I'm like, what the fuck's going on, right? He's late to work. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I, I run into other buddy. <laughs> He's like, Yo, did you hear? Buddy has a black eye. I'm like, what? Well, he's a bad guy. So I guess he got into a big fight, right? He got yeah. the shit kicked out of him. Oh, shit. Just fucking straight up swollen. I, can't, I couldn't stop looking at it all day. Right, of course. He's wearing fucking but, then he's telling, but then he's telling me a story from a week before. So he's like bleeding in his nose. Like his eye is like literally so swollen that it's bleeding. And like on the inside, it's like bleeding into his nose. Yeah. Okay. So then he's also telling me this story. He, so like maybe a, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago, he was at this party. And uh, he, he meets up with this chick, and there's not enough rooms in the house. Okay. And this one room they're trying to go into, this couple's like, 
no, we're using it, right? Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> so uh, the, the girl from that couple in the room yeah. gives gives them her keys to their cars so they can go fuck in the car. So they get to the car, and uh, he's about, like, he's making out this chick, and he's about to, like, plow. He's, like, he's about to plow, right? And she's, yeah. like, she, he's, like, getting down, and he's, like, getting his hands ready to go down there, right? And she goes, no, I, I can't. And he's, like, why? She's, like, I'm on my period. He said, like, I don't give a fuck. So he just starts fucking her on her period in the back of the car. Calling him? No. So <laughs> this is the funny part too. So I'm calling him Bloodshot all day, Jeez. all day, right? And uh, fucking, he's because he's got the black eye. He's got the black eye with the blood dripping into his nose. But this is even better. <laughs> so like, they, they left this huge mess in this chick's back seat of the car, like just fucking blood all over the seat, like whatever the fuck. One the juices uh, that come out from sex, right? I want a photo. In the back of this person's what car. What a mess. So after they finish up, they go inside. He grabs a towel and rubs up whatever he can and just fucking leaves it. So it's probably just getting all stinky and shit just festering in there. And then, and then, the next morning he goes to piss. His dick was stained red. He didn't even think about what his dick would look like. He, he didn't, didn't go and take a shower instantly in the house? No, he just let it fucking sit in his cock. <laughs> so I Congealed start... blood up his cock. <laughs> so I start calling him bloodshot because he has a red cock and he has blood dripping out of his nose. His eyes red and black. <laughs> I asked him if I can use this story and he's like, yeah, man, fuck yeah, of course you can, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you need to get your life together, man. You he's, got... he's doing all right. He's doing all right. No, I'm sure he's doing great, but like, <laughs> what the fuck? He's on a fuck page. I mean, good for it's him. It's like a rampage, but you fuck. He's on a fuck page. Is that what he's saying? He's on a fuck page. Good for him. He's yeah. fucking everything. Uh, good for him. Yeah. Pussy's pussy, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> I, I'd have to disagree with that one. I disagree, too. <laughs> <laughs> we might have rosters, but that doesn't mean we have to be absolute fucking disgust balls. Well, we're not dealing with the C division. You and me are in a triple A. Yeah, we're fucking on a different bracket here. Okay? <laughs> you, you wish you were in my bracket. <laughs> me? Yeah, you. I was yeah. in there once. Yeah, you were. I moved up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and you're you're making real good use of it. Is that a boy Theo Vaughn on the computer there? Yeah, it is Theo Vaughn. I'm making use of it, you cunt. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? I have this thing, so I think I'm just not even gonna use Tinder when I move to Victoria. Yeah. No Tinderless. Yep. I, I respect it. Just when I'm out and about, I'm just gonna fucking be me and just go and here's talk my, to some ladies. Here's my business card, babe. Yep. Here's you a know? piece of wood. Wait. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. 1-800-GOTWOOD. Cuties walking by. Oh, my God. Oh, you drop, you, you dropped this here. You dropped this here. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's my number. Yeah. I'm going to use that every day. Fuck okay. yeah. And it will work every single time. You haven't used it yet, eh? I've used it many times in the hospital. To, the old, random... to all the old women? Yeah. All the nurses. They're all, like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get a nurse. Dementia and they can't or even talk. I'm trying to get a nurse or a flight attendant. German. Get, get, get German flight attendant. German girl, not Ger flight attendant. Yeah, because then you can fly for free. Think so? I know so. Yeah, that'd be nice. It would be very nice. Fuck, man, that'd be so nice. And then you could have, like, airplane sex all the time. She'd love it. And she'd be weird. And she'd be in uniform. Oh, my God. Ugh. That'd be great. Can you imagine? Right? Cynthia, your hair was in a bun when you came here. Why is it messy? <laughs> Late night. Jeremy's here. Jeremy's on the plane. Oh. Yeah, he's up in first class. Can I meet the guy? He's, he's a fat slob. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I'm on the come up, man. <laughs> I have not peaked. <laughs> I haven't peaked either. Yeah, exactly. We're about to peak, you guys. Victoria? No, we're not peaking in Victoria. We're we're gonna we're gonna prairie dog in Victoria. We'll get close. <laughs> I'll come crumbling down. <laughs> we'll just peek through the hole a little bit. We'll just Once in a while, we'll go back down in the oh, winter for oh, a month, oh, and we'll come yeah, up yeah, yeah, strong yeah, in the summer. Yeah, Bang, yeah. back right ah! there. Soon we fist our way through. Right through. <laughs> um, shit happens. Do you want to get into this? Yeah. All right, guys, the famous game, Shit Happens. Um, I believe we're tied. Four, four. Yeah, we're 4-4. Four, four. We are tied 4-4. Four, four. So this game... You have a card. It's fucking hot in here. There's a misery index ranked from 0 to 100 based on how shitty the card is. 
My nipples are fucking sweating. Jeremy and <laughs> Jeremy and I each read a scenario for the card. We already picked the card here. To each other, so we already got the cards picked. Uh, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? <laughs> <laughs> I could do a mean one. <laughs> do it. Go as no, 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 no. So we're living in Victoria. Of course we are. I'm sweating too. Holy fuck, dude! My crack. There's a fucking r- r- Riviera flowing through my ass. Crack I was actually right talking now. to Marcus about this. Oh, so nice. when you're sweating from your ass, yeah, like specifically at the gym, but I guess this can go for anything. Yeah, I look at it as like if it's fully wet, it's the Grand Canyon, saturated with water, just flowing like back in the old days, and it means you're working hard. Okay. Or it's just really hot in here. I'm, I was sweating a little bit, man. I'll be honest. That ramen. Yeah, the ramen's getting gonna. We ate some ramen before we did this, you guys. Every time I ate that ramen, it comes right out of me. Why'd you get it? Eh, it fills you up for the moment. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, well, it was good. I don't know. I'm gonna go get food before I go to work. I have to go to work. What are you gonna get? Or just a hoagie, potato hoagie, and uh, salad from Savon Food. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a good option. No, yeah. why not, eh? Uh, maybe a little potato salad too. I was thinking, but no, I'll probably just do a salad. Anyways, um, you come home from Victoria for Thanksgiving dinner to your family. So I'm I'm back in Kelowna. Coming back now. to Kelowna for Thanksgiving. They fly in. Oh, they fly to Victoria. No, they fly you into town. Oh, they fly me back home. And your mom said, "Get ready," because a lot of people are showing up. She didn't tell you who. Uh, okay. she's like, "Lots of people are coming." Oh so. God, is it my ex? Your ex is there. Is it actually? No. <laughs> um, but all of your distant family from Saskatoon, they show up. Love them all. Even the aunt that you shit on her floor. Oh, that one. Specifically, only that one. <laughs> she actually does show up just herself sometimes. <laughs> Specifically, only her. We're on good terms now. Oh, this doesn't fuck your story up. <laughs> it does. A little bit. <laughs> okay, keep going. Your entire family, all of your uh, stepdad's family. He. All of them are in town. It's a fighting match. They're all fighting? Yeah. It's a just, just screaming. With everyone. Sounds like a usual time. It's kind of what I thought. I don't want to just grab this snippet from my mom. <laughs> Pretty fucking common. <laughs> Absolute chaos, right? Um, you want to know one of my favorite sayings my grandma says to uh, her kids? Yeah. I brought you into this world, and I can take you out. <laughs> I hear that too much. 70-year-old woman. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thanksgiving dinner with your dysfunctional family. Okay, that's the card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it's called. That's the card. I could have just said you went home for Thanksgiving, but <laughs> you know the, the thing is though, this is like you're used so to common to me. This is why this card might be so fucking hard. To yeah, like I would rank this low. Oh, man, I'm just going with twenty five. Like I don't know. Like it's really not that bad. Final answer. I'm going with fucking twenty five. Fuck, we're off twenty nine. You serious? Yeah. That's a good one. 29. Well done. Maybe people in America have they a lot all, of dysfunctional families. It's literally so common over there. They all hate each other. All right. Let's see what I got here. I haven't even looked. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, <laughs> 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 you ready for this? Yeah. All right. So you're chilling at home, right? You're playing the new Halo that came out. Yeah, And absolutely. you're also watching the new Halo sh- TV show that's coming out on Paramount Plus, which we're very pumped for. <laughs> So you're doing both at the same time, so you're just the biggest fanboy. Didn't we get this card already? No, you actually, there's no card. Yeah, what? You see, you see what I have? No, but is it my favorite TV show is canceled? Nope. Okay. And then um, you're just having the best day of your life. It's a Saturday. Okay. You have the day off from work. You're oh. watching Halo. You're playing Halo. Yeah, real Halo day. You're so happy. Yeah. All of a sudden, your, your brother comes into the house, right? He's like, Jeremy, Jeremy, look at these new shoes I bought. And he has, like, these beautiful fucking, like... All these like vintage Jordans, like one of a kind. Like there's only been ten made. They're so beautiful, right? And you're like so happy for them. You're like, dude, where'd you get those? I got them at an auction. Like, oh, they're so special. You know, you got them like a like fuck. He absolute snag. These things are worth so much. The person selling didn't know that, right? Sure. Yeah, try to get through this. And um, yeah. So then you you're like right on. You check them out. They're pretty cool. So then you go back to your stuff. You're playing. And then uh, you, you're doing your normal thing at night. You want to go for your walk and smoke some weed, right? Yeah. Um, so you're like, yeah, can I try out your shoes, man? 
He's like, you ask, you ask your brother if you can try out his new shoes. And he's like, okay, like, yeah, you can test them out. Just, like, you know, don't wreck them. Right, right. Like just go for a walk in them. They're brand new. Like, yeah, you know. take them for a test drive. But be... <laughs> Exactly, because you wear your brother's shoes all the time. Yeah, absolutely. you don't have any. So yeah, I don't own shoes. Yeah. So, grifter. You go outside. You're walking in these brand new fucking spanking shoes. Fuck yeah. Looking good as hell. You're going down the path. It's dark. They're way too big for me. And you're, you, so, you're, you're left. Uh, but you're right in front. Yeah. Left in front. Uh, you're just having a good time. You're listening to the Bunch of Grifters podcast, an up and coming podcast. Yep. It's doing very well. They have a sponsor by them. Oh, okay. <coughs> wow. Um, you uh, notice that when you take your next right step, it's kind of like you lose your footing a bit. It's it. Let's let's place the the time of year. It's summer, so it's warm. Oh, okay. It's a warm summer night. It's a nice night out. But you kind of like slip a bit. You're like, what the fuck? You, this like this scent kicks in from the bottom. <laughs> this like treacherous smell of shit hits oh, your nose. I step in shit. You look down and like you fucking step in the biggest pile of dog shit you've ever fucking seen, and it's like all over the shoe. It's like you know like the fourteen. Jo- so the Jordans have like um dots in the fucking shoes, and like it gets filled into the dots, right? You go upstairs and you run. You you tell your brother like, you're like fuck 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 you're freaking out. You're like you're like brother. I stepped in dog shit. Uh, and the card is called Stepped in Dog Shit. 14. 14? Yeah. Locked and loaded? 13. 13? Locked, Locked and loaded? loaded. 1.5. <sighs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I made the scenario seem pretty bad. <laughs> I thought I was lowballing with that. <laughs> 1.5. Is it 13 to 1.5, you fucking retard? <laughs> God damn it! I'm wasn't up, even close. I'm up 5-4. Yeah, you are. You're doing good. Fuck. <laughs> That's a good story. That was a good story. Well done. I had you twisted there. Yeah, fuck. We, okay, we didn't do this last episode. Let's explain who we are a little bit. Plug some of our stuff, and let's, uh, let's leave this beautiful studio we... Prepared here. Yeah, I am Jeremy. I got named Jeremy Johnny on Instagram. Yep. Uh, Jeremy's tech lessons, no hacks needed. Yep, uh, you can uh, find him at uh, Dakota Sports Lounge doing uh, yeah, yeah. stand up comedy. Yeah, Dakota's uh, open, open mics, mics on Thursdays, Thursdays at seven o'clock in Kelowna, BC. Yeah, been doing that. Anything else? Um, no. Yeah, no, nothing. All, right. All good to me. Thanks. I'm guys. Uh, Brett Fligger, B R E T T P F L I G R. Uh, when you search that up, you will see a sexy man on your thing. Uh, yeah. Be warned, I do not like posts anymore because I no longer look at my stuff because I'm just so worn out from all the other social stuff I do. Yeah. And um, I'm both like not follow people back. That's a complete lie. If you're hot, I will follow you back. He man or hit, girl. He will hit on you. So yeah, watch I out. I will send a message. I'll only hit on men. Um, you can also support my fitness brand, which I'm trying to st- – which I'm, which I have started up, but I'm just taking a little break from my goal. If you listen yeah, to, yeah, you're, you're not burning out. Um, it's called Earned Athletics. Um, I'm really excited to get that going. Um, already have just you know a little hiatus, slowly on the rise. Um, yeah, beautiful. Um, you guys, Miracle March, be a miracle. Miracle March, be a fucking <coughs> miracle to yourself and to others. It's yep. so easy to do. It's a fucking great month. Just you know, be. I be, did it today to this one lady. We were at the park. She was walking by with her dog. She's like, she was looking at us. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a great day for a dog show. Because yeah. there was like five dogs walking by us all at once. And she's like, oh, thank That's you so beautiful. much. Her dog was really cute. I fucking hit, could kick it over and make a field goal from yeah. 70 yards. But it was a cute dog and it was definitely groomed well. So I, I yeah. thought I'd give her a compliment. And she loved it. I was also a miracle today at Were work. You? Yeah. I uh, was making everyone laugh with my proficient uh, Mickey Mouse sound. Oh. Shall we end on it? Yeah, give us a Mickey Mouse for the fans. It's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Hot dog, hot diesel. Well done. Hey, thanks, guys. Hey, cheers, Lucker. See you next week. Give me a, give me a dinker. Dinker. Sound Put her down. <coughs> Screw we, it. Are we screwing? We're just going to screw it to end it. Oh, fuck. Screw it to end it. I got none left. I got... Okay, you can finish mine. No, you're finishing it. Oh, my God. It's a big gulp. Yeah, good look at you, you fucking liar. The back end. That's my cup. You don't think I know how it works? Oh, Scantigo Slam! <laughs> you don't think I see how my cup works? <laughs> see you next week, guys. <laughs> see you next week on our big episode 15. Woo! Milestones, baby. Milestones. Peace out, fuckers.